Hi, I'm Steve Gould of Gould Brothers Exhibition Shooting and today we're going to be talking about gun fit. Having a gun that fits you well as the shooter is a very critical element of successful wing and clay shooting. Making sure that your mount is consistent and that your eye is in the right spot nearly every time you mount will help you to hit more clays or birds. So we're going to look at a few of those elements that hopefully allow you to be able to see how well your shotgun fits you. So the first thing we're going to look at is the length of pull, which deals with the length of your stock. So one quick way to see how well the length matches you, the shooter, is just to mount your shotgun. And as you mount your shotgun, let me turn here so you can maybe see better. We're going to look at the distance between your nose and your thumb. We should have about one and a half to maybe two and a half finger lengths. Mine is right about two finger lengths, so the length of pull on this gun fits me pretty well. The next thing we're going to look at is drop at comb, which deals with how much your stock drops. So again, just mount your shotgun and look down the barrel. And now we're testing for whether we are too high or too low. And if you're looking down your barrel, you want to basically see the rib as a flat plane. If you're too high, you're going to be looking down on the rib and you'll see a lot of rib. Or if your head is too low, you'll be seeing a lot of receiver and you might not see the bead at the end of your gun. So just make sure that this is a flat plane as you're looking down the barrel of the shotgun. Next, we're going to look at the cast of your shotgun, which deals with whether your stock is bent left or right or neutral. So if it's bent to the left, that's called cast off. If it's bent to the right, that's called cast on. A lot of shotguns come with a neutral cast, but that's not always the case. So let's remount our shotgun. This time paying attention to if our eye is really centered, making sure we're not too far one side to the left or to the right, and looking at an angle. We want to be perfectly aligned with that rib, looking straight down that plane. The last thing we're going to talk about is the pitch of your shotgun. And pitch is dealing with the angle of your recoil pad or your buttstock. If your pitch is incorrect, it's going to affect things like how you feel the recoil from your shotgun. So uh, we've heard people complain about it really feels like their face gets slapped when they take uh, a shot with their shotgun. A lot of times that's just due to an incorrect pitch. So if you have any of these problems, there's a few things to look at. One, a lot of shotguns now come with spacers or shims that allow you to make adjustments to your stock to change length or your cast and different things like that, as we've talked about. If they don't, you may want to see a qualified gunsmith or a gun fitter that will really be able to help you get your gun set up that fits you best, because that's how you're going to be most successful shooting clays or shooting birds. For more tips on improving your wing or clay shooting, follow the link on your screen. To stay on top of all of our latest videos, just subscribe to our YouTube channel. But if you don't have a YouTube account, there's one last way. Just go to gbxshooting.com and sign up for our email newsletter. And we'll send you new videos as they come out. Thanks for watching.